going to show all of you how to make quinoa, which is the best grain on the planet, and it's really, really easy. The instructions are on um, the package, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So basically for one serving, I like to make a lot of ones actually, but um, you just measure out about a cup of quinoa. I like to use the red kind, but you also can find um, the white version as well. So this is, let's just pretend there's a cup in here. And we put it into a pot. And then you just measure out about, I would say about a cup and a half of water. Um, that normally is plenty. Maybe two cups. And then you turn the stove on. Work tonight. Yes. Okay. And you cover it, and you wait until it boils. And when it when it's boiling, you turn it down, and simmer, keep the cover on. And I normally take a little timer out, and I just put it on for about 10 minutes. And once it hits 10 minutes, I check it, and normally all the water is absorbed, and the quinoa is cooked. So again, it's how much quinoa to how much water? Uh, normally I do one cup of quinoa to about one and a half or two cups of water. Back, and the quinoa has been cooking for about ten minutes, and now I'm just uncovering the pot and stirring a little bit just to make sure that all the water um, is absorbed. And, but it's pretty much done. It's a lot of quinoa. So now that the quinoa is fully cooked, I am going to spice it up. I just want to, um, I want to remind everyone that it really depends on your stove and the pot that you're cooking in, how long you need to cook it, because obviously it varies. So anyway, I love using um, natural salts, so Himalayan or um, Celtic. Did you say Celtic? Mm -hmm. Salt is really, really amazing. I am choosing not to put any oils in. I'm just going to use the spices to give it that flavor, which is really nice. So I have some curry powder, paprika, cayenne, a little bit of cumin, and a little bit of cinnamon. So we're just going to throw it in. I normally don't really use any measurements at all. I just kind of wing it, which is fun. And my dear friend Jenny, who is a master chef and little genius in the kitchen, oh, she, stop. oh no, I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> she um, she kind of reminded me of these spices and just you know throwing them all together. It, it makes such an amazing little dish. I eat so much quinoa. I'm going to turn into a bowl of quinoa very soon. <laughs> It's, it's just amazing, and you can make it in the summer, in the winter, it's fantastic. You can add it so, to soups. You can add it to soups. Salad. Wait till you see what we're going to do with this one, though. It's, it's so good. I love it. So basically, you just, you know, stir it around. It's all to your preferred taste, buzz. And then I'm going to get out the greens. So now I'm going to add um, the ingredients, the rest of the ingredients to this quinoa extravaganza. And I bought some wild arugula, which I love. It's really peppery and delicious. And it's really, really, really simple. All you have to do is throw the arugula in. I cut a, um, actually I'm going to use a pretty nice for the camera. You just cut um, some lemon. Usually add a little bit of more sea salt. You can use a little bit of high quality olive oil if you like. I love biryani, but you know what? I'm just going to keep it oil free tonight. And then you can add any one of the spices that you already used in um, the quinoa dish. And then I throw in some amazing, these are my favorite, favorite, favorite things on the planet sunflower sprouts. So you just kind of, you can not, you know, Martha Stewart over here. You just kind of tear them up and then um, add the quinoa. That's it. It's simple, delicious, flavorful, and quinoa and um, the 
these greens will just travel through the body so easily. It's really one of my favorite dishes, really. So I'm going to add a couple more sprouts on the top. Dusting. And even amongst the mess in the kitchen, look at how beautiful that is. Perfect. 